Hi, this is James from the Hornball Professional Services team and this is a short tutorial to show you how to configure some design aspects to the service desk view. Now under the right click option there is different parameters, different available here and some of them can definitely help you in terms of managing your call queue and just to um, make your call show in a way that can help. So here we're using the 760 client. Most of these options are available across all clients and it doesn't matter which application version you are on. So to go through all these options, we'll go them through, through them one by one. First of all, we have select quick log call. So this isn't a design aspect, but this is certainly if you have quick log calls enabled, uh, it's just another route of actually accessing them without having to go to, you know, help desk, new incident, etc or opening up a new form. Log new, um, so you have the option here to be able to again open up a new incident form, problem, etc. Uh, it's just another means of accessing that. It isn't design specific, but um, it's just a quick access point. So here we go into the different aspects which I've been uh, talking about. Um, so here we have the option to hide calls on hold. So if you don't necessarily have a any kind of filters configured in the top right hand side there um you can certainly you can see there's a call on hold here number call number 13 you can right click and go to uh, hide calls on hold this can be specifically helpful purely because it can be if you've got a large queue and you only want to see those that's active with you then certainly you can just hide your calls there so remember you do have the active call status on the bottom left hand side here saying that you do have one on hold so if it appears they are missing, just remember to check that setting to uh, hide calls on hold. So the next option available is the show subgroup calls. So at the moment you can see here I'm in the sysadmin group and the subgroup has one call available. So in the sysadmin group you can see that number 11 is not there. So we're going to right click and go to show subgroup calls. And now you can see that there's a call they're available. So this can be quite handy if you do manage calls underneath you. Um, however, again, if you do have quite a few calls in your system, it can easily be lost in terms of who the owner is, who the group is. It might be with you, it might not be. So it completely depends on how you manage your calls. Now we've got the show assignment icon. Uh, this is effectively the little man at the side here to say that it's with one person and not the group. So if you untick that, it simply gets rid of it. Um, again, it, don't, it comes down to how you manage your calls, but I find it quite handy to know which ones are actually in the group and which ones aren't. So now we have the previews. So now the preview options here are where it says here test call to and my uh, nonsense in this particular call. Um, so this is a preview in terms of what's either the last update, which is, which is the original update, or even which is the update for when you put the call on hold. So here you've got the different configurable options. Here we have ticked preview last update for calls on hold. If I untick that, you will see that it's come up with the original description. If I tick it, it comes up with the nonsense that I put in when I put the call on hold. So the other options here is no call preview. So if I tick that, you'll see that both of them have disappeared. And if I right click again, you see all the options have disappeared now. So if I click on preview all calls, it'll come back again. We've got preview last update. So if I tick that, you'll see that the last update on the call here is call accepted by admin. And again, because I've put on hold, this is the actual last update in this call also. If I untick that again. You've also got highlight detail when preview is on. So this is effectively just a alternate color system. So if I click on that, you'll see that it's just highlighted each and every one, one of the calls here. So that just makes sure that you don't confuse yourself with how many calls you've got. I mean, in terms of, it looks like from a different view that you've got four calls, but actually there's only two and this is what the last update is. So it's just a way of determining which calls are actually there. So the other options available here are, you've got the option to export data. So I've gone through that in a separate tutorial anyway, but effectively you can export data to a CSV, HTML. Excel is probably the most common. The other options here, field chooser. Again, I've gone across that in a different tutorial as well. 
but effectively you can add in fields and remove fields and that's where you'd access the field fields from. List options. Now you have a few options here for uh, design aspects. First of all we've got show header. Uh, header is the columns list here so if I untick that and click OK they will disappear. Personally I find them quite handy so I usually keep them on. If I go back to it again the next option we have is horizontal grid lines. Um, so again it's exactly what it says in the tin. You've got the grid lines there between each call. Um, you've also got there the vertical grid lines. So this may help you um, look at your calls easier. Again, it's just purely down to your own preference. And again, you have alternate colors. And this highlights just the last updates for you, uh, just to kind of alternate between each call. Um, personally, it's not my favorite option. I usually keep that off um, and just keep it to the header. So the other options available in this list options are you've got row height and preview lines. So if I set preview lines to 5, remember if it's pre previewing the last few updates in this particular one in call 13, it's uh, obviously it's got more information in that update other than my nonsense update. Um, it's got the information in terms of when it's been placed on hold till. So this can be very handy unless you've got quite a few calls in there, then it can be quite difficult because you'll have quite a lot to scroll down. So one option here is to either decrease the actual row height so then it can squeeze in more more calls. So if I go to 10, you can see it's gone a lot smaller. Um, obviously, it may start cutting out text when you do that, so you may wish to enter a higher value just to make sure you've got all, all information in there. So that's all the kind of configurable uh, design options that you've got available there in the client for the service desk view. If you have any further queries, please let me know.